Canada's capital city, Ottawa, and its surrounding area known as the Ottawa Valley, boasts 43 curling clubs, the earliest going back to 1851. There are around 17,000 curlers in the area, a number that has remained relatively stable despite challenges of recent years. I think coming out of COVID, we lost some members, but they're starting to build back up. And uh, through COVID, probably in this area, we might have lost one club. Having a world championship in the city has boosted numbers. Retirement age is younger in this part of Canada, and the drive is on to bring them into the sport. At the other end of the spectrum, there are around 2,500 juniors. Some were selected as future stars at the Men's Worlds in 2023, and they just love the sport. A lot of people think that it's just this really easy sport that old people play. But that's not true because it's such an inclusive sport and there's different levels. You can play recreationally if you just want to have fun. You can play competitively if you want that competitive fire. And you can play at different levels. You can play really however you want. It's how you make it. Curling, it's a very like calm uh, game and I don't like fast going games and just slow and strategic game and I just really like to play with like my brain. Um, I think that the more we have events like, like the World Men's or the Briar where we bring children into the arena that might not have been exposed to curling, they see how much fun it is, the excitement and they can go home and maybe talk to their families about joining a club close by. The Ottawa area is also proactive in terms of supporting diversity, equity and inclusion. There's the Rainbow Rockers, Ottawa's GLBT-friendly curling league, and the area is reaching out to those new Canadians not familiar with curling. Wheelchair curling has had a new lease of life with the redevelopment of the RA Centre. Uh, welcome to the RA Curling Centre of Excellence. My name is Doug Morris and I'm a curler and a member. I'm going to show you around uh, our new facility that was uh, created just last year. So I guess we'll start off with uh, all the lockers and the uh, changing rooms over here. We got um, several changing rooms. We have two accessible changing rooms here, one on either side. Every washroom in this facility, well, they're all pretty much accessible, but they're all um, gender non-specific as well. So now we're going to go and see the curling ice. Um, it used to be a hockey rink and it was converted into a full-time curling ice. So it still has the old stands from the hockey days. <laughs> Put a nice new ramp up here for us so that we could get up. As you can see, it's set up like arena ice there with all the blue carpeting and stuff and it's um, easy to get around. Uh, it's easy to get over the barriers with your wheelchair and uh, it's, just, it's just a fabulous facility. It's just, it's been amazing. I mean, the, the things that they've done here with all the accessible washrooms and the new ramps, it just, sometimes I feel like they built it just for us. I know they didn't, but it's just, uh, it's amazing.